I'm going to discuss three key areas where blockchain will play a major part in the coming days. So a blockchain is a distributed database which maintains an ever-growing list of data records secured from tampering or revision. It's decentralized, it avoids a single point of failure, and the group work together to conform, confirm legitimate new transactions. So it's composed of data structure blocks where each block holds batches of individual transactions and results of any blockchain executables. So blockchain can transform key aspects of society especially using smart contracts, for instance, to make micropayments. Again, it could be used within the music industry to be able to um, give artists their proper royalties. But three key areas where blockchain will always make a big difference is in cryptocurrencies, the supply chain, and also in elections. So cryptocurrencies is a no-brainer. Of course, we have Bitcoin, the po poster child of, crypto of blockchain. Again, and it stops the double spend. Again, we're moving into an era where everything is moving online, we're moving to a virtual world. So cryptocurrencies are here to stay. They are the perfect monetary system for a virtual world. Again, whether Bitcoin becomes the dominant player in that field or whether there is many, which many people suspect, but cryptocurrencies are here to stay and they can only be enabled by having a publicly verifiable ledger such as blockchain. The supply chain also is where blockchain will play a big part again because here especially combined with the internet of things we're able to verify something in the supply chain from a to z for instance maybe medicines have to be stored below a certain temperature and when you combine them with sensors again you have a publicly verifiable transaction log of your medicine traveling from a to b being kept below a certain temperature and again no one can tamper with that again so the supply chain is where a lot of work is going into blockchain applications elections is something that many people may not have thought about but it is extremely difficult for governments to just move to computerized systems because then people can question how do you trust the actual black box that you're voting with? Can the government tamper with it again? But if you have a blockchain, you can remain anonymous, you're able to cast your vote, you're able to look at the public ledger and be able to verify that the vote you cast has been assigned to the politician or politicians that you voted for. Yet no one else can know who you are apart from you. So having a publicly verifiable blockchain allows elections actually finally to go from paper to online and also gain the trust of the public. So we're gonna see more test beds again we've seen them before in smaller elections but it won't be too long before governments themselves will be using blockchain to be able to allow citizens to cast their vote electronically we've seen what COVID did we've seen actually spikes because people have been queuing for elections around the world in some countries which have had them during COVID times but with a blockchain Again, people can vote from their own home, and yet we can have faith in the execution of these votes, the tallying of these votes, because we have a blockchain. We have a tamper-proof, publicly verifiable chain of evidence. Again, so three key areas again for blockchain in the coming year and into the future are cryptocurrencies, supply chain, and elections.